Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, August the 12th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Our satellite image this morning shows a good deal of clouds across the Tennessee River Valley as well as in a large area across the lower Mississippi River Valley to our west. And we also have fog once again. Uh, the surface uh, pattern, uh, surface map, still features a rather convoluted pattern with a couple of different uh, frontal boundaries. But one of the things we've noted is that uh, overnight last night, the sounding uh, precipitable water values across uh, central Alabama dropped, and uh, that has helped to keep us dry. And uh, the reason they're dropping partially is because we have this northerly flow bringing some drier air from the uh, areas uh, across the western Great Lakes down into the southeastern United States. The temperatures across the area this morning generally in the lower 70s, but uh, do note across the east, central, and northeast part that they're in the um, primarily the upper half of the of the 60s. And again, we have some patchy uh, fog, no fog advisories. The watch warning map is somewhat clear. We still have a good deal of fog up uh, over the western Great Lakes there, uh, nearly all of the uh, state of uh, Minnesota. And then we have uh, high fire danger as well as heat indices and heat warnings uh, over the uh, area uh, there across parts of uh, Idaho, Montana, and the Dakotas. And a little bit of dense fog in California. QPF uh, looks like we're going to see a little bit of an uptick of showers probably by the end of the week. That may mean a little bit more in the way of shower activity and rainfall amounts generally around a half inch, but once again, quite variable due to the fact that they're showers. The HPC guys have a moderate risk, uh, surrounded by a slight risk for uh, heavy rain over a good portion of central Texas for day one. And then the SPC has a couple of marginal risks, one over Arizona and one over the mid-Atlantic states on day one. Days uh, two and three don't feature any uh, outlook areas. And the tropics, uh, still quiet relatively. Uh, the area in the South Atlantic has actually... Uh, decreased in intensity and in, in its presentation, while we have over the North Atlantic an area that has uh, developed a little bit, and it's expected to meander and may develop over the next several days. Eastern Pacific, the Eastern North Pacific, is uh, still uh, a little bit busy. We have uh, the number two area there, that's the remnants of Christie, and then we have another area uh, of large uh, disturbed area off the southern coast of Mexico. All right, there's 06 GFS model run this morning, and there's our upper trough helping to keep a kind of a northerly flow down across the middle Mississippi River Valley and into the southeastern United States. And that uh, keeps us probably more or less uh, dry. Can't rule out the possibility of an isolated shower, and uh, you can see that precipitable water values are definitely down. Um, they're down across about the northern third of the state, so I expect uh, more showers to be across uh, the uh, southern uh, third or southern half of the state. On Monday, our uh, closed low over the uh, eastern Great Lakes and over uh, western Pennsylvania begins to move out a little bit, but that keeps us in that flow pattern. Uh, and the result is that we see actually some drier, really much drier air coming into the Tennessee River Valley. That pushes, once again, the uh, main area of showers probably to our south, but once again, can't rule out the possibility in our area. We come under a little bit of a ridge uh, on Tuesday, but the GFS is also suggesting that precipital water values will surge to around two inches, and that should mean uh, that we'll see an uptick in showers on Tuesday, uh, becoming a little more scattered to numerous. Wednesday, that trough has moved off and, and opened up, and uh, the ridge has moved off. We're now beginning to come under the influence of a little bit of a trough over Missouri. And once again, precipitable water uh, takes a nosedive for a short term here. So Wednesday, we'll probably go back to isolated showers as a possibility. Thursday, uh, we see that the next trough uh, in line coming in across Iowa. Uh, and uh, that will be producing a little surface low uh, over Illinois and Indiana and a, a bit of a front down into northeast Texas. 
and uh, that system moves off. It's kind of influencing us a little, but it's not. It's almost a glancing blow, but it does look like with the front in our area, we should see some um, uh, more numerous showers and thunderstorms. And again, precipital water values certainly indicate that that is a very real possibility with the precipital water values once again over two inches. By Saturday, uh, kind of between the two troughs, the one over uh, Minnesota and Iowa and the one over uh, western or central Pennsylvania and central New York, we see a little bit of a weak ridge, but nothing's changing underneath, so it looks like we just stay with showers. And then again on uh, Sunday, we begin to see the Bermuda High kind of nosing in or trying to nose into the southeastern United States, and that just keeps us pretty much in pre high precipitable water values and keeps us in showers. Looking out into voodoo country, and the, the Bermuda High is um, much stronger on this run of the GFS. You can see it nosing in around the 21st. Uh, it becomes firmly established by the 23rd. That looks pretty warm over the southeastern United States. Stays that way through the 24th. Uh, and then we begin to see some weakening to it around the 26th. But if this uh, voodoo country period, if this uh, chart, these charts verify, it looks like a pretty warm period. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect uh, James Spann back in the saddle on Monday with the next edition. I hope that you have a great day. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.